I think that we have the ability to slow down and uh, really concentrate on each individual case. And we have, uh, you know, amazingly dedicated employees in the clinic area. Plus we have interns. We bring in summer interns about 10 or 12 every year that add to that workforce. And then 40 or 50 some volunteers that are dedicated to that. So when you take all those caring people together and you give them the time and resources necessary, to complete their mission. They can do amazing things. So a lot of what we do in that clinic area is almost magic. It's pretty amazing to see what, what goes on on a scale that we deal with. Boy, each release is, is amazing. It's sort of the paycheck for doing all the hard work you've done with all these animals. And of course you have failures and you have successes. But when you take an animal out like the eagle, I think you're referring to and release them. We uh, released an eagle on top of Wood Rat Mountain here locally, a golden eagle that came in. And that is basically the culmination of so much hard work and so much dedication. And it's amazing. I don't know how you could explain or describe that elation to somebody that's never experienced that, but taking that animal that spent a year with you probably and setting them out in the wild and seeing how well they do. And in this particular case, we were lucky enough to have a remote cameras and everything set up to capture that moment. And you know, to share that with individuals is amazing. And we wish we had that opportunity more often. It seems like a very natural uh, fit with the education and rehabilitation because, you know, the rehabilitation makes you feel really good about it and helping out these thousand animals a year is pretty amazing. It makes you feel terrific. But in the long term, the education is probably the more important aspect of what we do. But the rehabilitation allows us to do the education. Some of the patients that really aren't able to go back out in the wild become amazing ambassadors for education. So if you can take that life that basically, you know, each animal that comes in here is essentially biologically dead when it comes in. If you can save their life and put their life to an amazing purpose like education and letting kids get up close and personal and understand how valuable these animals are to us, you can change the world. And I think the education is just critical here. And I really am proud of what our educational department's doing. Each year, Wildlife Images takes in over a thousand injured or traumatized wildlife. Some have suffered accidents. Others have been owned as pets and have lost the ability to live on their own, just as their owners have lost the ability to properly take care of them. Whether at Wildlife Images for healing and release, or for the mission of education, these individual animals get the care they need here and at similar rehabilitation centers across the country. Support from the community makes this kind of mission possible.